Hi, I'm Randy Joyner, PGA professional and director of instruction at Ballantyne Country Club in Charlotte, North Carolina. I've been fortunate enough to play events on both the Nationwide and PGA Tour. I've also coached winners on both tours. Today, you're going to learn one element that every tour player has in their golf swing that you can use throughout your bag and see immediate results. Plus, stay tuned at the end, I'm going to show you one tour secret that you've never heard that will change your game forever. So what most amateurs don't realize is I apply the same techniques to a tour player's game that I do with their games on a day in and day out basis. There are three misconceptions in this game that I'd like to cover that I see more often than not on the practice tee day in and day out. The most common misconception is the misuse of the right arm. Most players don't realize that the right arm can be used at all if they're right-handed players. As a matter of fact, many of you have been taught if you're right-handed, it's a left-sided game. But every tour player employs their right arm correctly. And they do that by simply folding and unfolding the right arm as they swing the golf club. As a matter of fact, that's the most powerful source you have in a golf swing. So go ahead and use it. Which leads me to the second misconception in the game that I see more often than not is shoulder turn. Everybody wants to hit it farther. I haven't met the player yet that wanted to hit it shorter. So what they do is they try to turn their shoulders more. Well, in an attempt to turn their shoulders to start the backswing, they end up getting the club extremely flat and off plane. Now they've got to horse it back around to try to get it back to impact. An easier way to do it is to let the right arm control it. You see, when you have both hands on the golf club and I fold my right arm to start the swing, that pulls the left arm with me and in turn turns the shoulders and rotates the body. So it looks something like this. It looks like I've made a big turn, but really all I've done is fold the right arm. Which leads me to the third misconception. Most all of you have heard to keep the left arm straight, but a tour player doesn't do that. A tour player uses their left arm much like a rope. It's just hanging. It's simply holding the club. And as their right arm folds, it stretches the left arm. If you reached up and grabbed my left arm right now, it would not have any tension on it. It is tension-free, so the right arm can drive the club through the ball. That's what you see on a day-in and day-out basis. So when you set up to hit a golf ball, all I want you thinking about is simply fold and unfold the right arm. And if you do that, you will hit long, straight tee shots, just like you see on the Golf Channel every weekend. So let's talk about a bunker shot. This is a shot that scares most amateur golfers, but really shouldn't because it's a very simple shot once you employ the technique that almost every tour player employs. It's very difficult for most of you to get out of this trap consistently simply because of what you've been taught. Let's take it a little easier route, the route of the tour player. First of all, many of you have been taught to open the stance up in a bunker, open the club face a certain amount. I've heard anything from one inch to five inches behind the ball you're supposed to strike, and then to cut across the ball. Too much going on with that. There's a much simpler way to do it. Do it more as the tour players do it that you see on television every weekend. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna get a lot wider stance. I want you to get as wide, if not wider, than you would get with a driver. From there, you're simply gonna open the club face. The more bounce you have on the club, the less you're gonna need to open it. The less bounce, the more you're going to need to open it. So my club face here is opened a good bit. Don't let that scare you. From there, you're simply going to place the club head in the center of the stance, not forward. Many of you have the ball too far forward in a bunker, which causes you to hit way too far behind it. You're going to either leave it in the bunker or you skull it right across the green. So keep that club head centered in the middle of the stance, ball obviously slightly forward of that. Now here's the trick. What you're going to do is simply let your right elbow fold. That gets the shaft closer to your right shoulder. From here, you simply unfold it, let the shaft swing away from your right shoulder. It's going to hit the sand, throw it out every time. It should look something like this. So again, wide stance, club head in the middle of the stance, fold it up, unfold it. Do that, and you're going to hit some great bunker shots, and your sand game is really going to improve. So let's talk about chipping. Here's an interesting stat for you. The average miss of a green is between 10 and 20 yards, whether you're a tour player or a ranked beginner. We're standing here with a 10-yard chip shot. I'm going to show you a very simple technique that all tour players employ to hit this shot. First of all, you're never going to see a tour player stand with their feet any wider apart than about a club head width. You don't want your body doing much during these shots. Secondly, you're going to sit the club down the way it's designed, leading edge, trailing edge, touching the ground. That'll take the grip in and point it right at your left front pocket, and that's where it's going to stay. From there, it's all a right arm shot. The right elbow simply folds and straightens. Club head goes approximately knee high, 
to ankle high. It's a very simple technique. You see it on television every weekend. It should look something like this. Knee high to ankle high. So work on that, and I guarantee you're going to hit much better chip shots. So let's talk about putting. For most people, putting seems to be a mystery, but it doesn't have to be. There are only two fundamentals to putting that you see every tour player employ. Regardless of what grip they use, what putter they use, it's the same two fundamentals. And here's what those two are. First of all, you're going to make sure that your right arm is in line with the shaft. If I hold the putter horizontal to the ground, my right forearm is at the same line as the shaft. That's fundamental number one. Now, whether you're a left-hand low grip, whether you're a conventional grip, the claw, this right arm has to be in line with the shaft. Belly putters are made that way. You can only grip it one way with the right arm in line with the shaft. That's why guys go to that. The second fundamental is that as you stroke the putt, as the right arm is pushing through, the toe of the putter actually finishes closer to the hole than the heel. So the face has to release slightly. It should look something like this. Once you're set up, right forearm in line, then you're simply going to make sure that the toe finishes closer to the hole than the heel. You do that, you're going to be a much better putter. Here's a tour secret that few, if any of you, have ever heard. Club head speed. We've all been taught that to hit the ball farther, we need more club head speed. Well, I'm going to give you a one-word answer to gaining more distance, and that is the word pressure. You need to increase the pressure in your golf swing. Here's what I mean. As your right arm is folded, it's got pressure loaded, as we've talked about. As you start to unfold that right arm, you're going to be pushing the back of the club into the ball. That pressure should always remain constant. So a 10-yard chip shot or a full swing should have exactly the same amount of pressure. I'm not going to increase my hand speed or try to hit it any harder. That's what makes it look easy when you see a tour player do it correctly every weekend on television. All I do is increase the length of the swing, but I have the same amount of pressure. The pressure never changes. So remember, just put the same amount of pressure in every swing, a 10-yard chip shot or a 300-yard drive, your hands are not moving any faster. Sounds crazy, but that's how it works. Give it a shot. I guarantee you it's going to change your game. So that's just one element that every tour player has in their game that regardless of ability level, you can put into your game. Whether it's a driver, five iron, or sand wedge, you will change your game forever. Thanks for watching. See you soon.